Hey guys, it's Marissa with The Buzz. We're here backstage at The Voice where we're gonna chat with the top eight artists. They're about to walk the carpet now, so let's check it out. Oh, nice. Country music is my favorite. Um, so how are you feeling about tonight's performance? I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Um, I haven't had a chance to go back and listen to it, but it felt great and um, you know, I just kind of let everything stop around me except focusing on that song and um, you know, from the instruments around me to the piano playing to everything was just incredible. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. And when you said that you haven't had a chance to go back and look on it, so is something, do you go back and look on previous performances and kind of wish you would have done something differently or dissect it? I will watch my performances one time and it's normally fairly soon after I do it um, just to see what I miss because I'm my biggest critic and you know, that's why I try to tell everybody is, you know, people back home and stuff like all of us are our biggest critics and we all critique ourselves. And so I listen to it once and then after that, I'm, I'm good to go. That's incredible. So we, I know we ask you guys every week how it feels to lose a team member, but next week you're losing four. So what are you doing to prepare for the final show? I mean, I think we, we, we're, we've done everything we could to this point. Um, we went out there, every single person came out and, and just performed incredibly tonight. Um, it's always it's always tough seeing anybody go home and knowing that it's going to get cut down to 50 you know or sorry get cut down to four lose 50 percent of the team um it's a scary thought but you know it has to happen and you just you just pray for the best and if it's you know if it's me going home it i've had such a great time during this whole thing so looking forward to the future and what are your plans do you have any plans after the voice yet or are you still living in this moment not looking ahead yet I am absolutely 100% living in this moment. Um, As you should be. Absolutely, yeah. People ask me all the time, you know, well, what would it be like to win? And I'm like, I can't, I can't look past, you know, and especially right now, past tomorrow night. Um, and when it comes, you know, if I was to make it past tomorrow night, looking at ne next Monday, um, you know, hopefully at some point I'd be able to do music full time. But at that, at right now, I'm just, I'm just looking on to next week, hopefully, and we'll see how it goes. And do you still get nervous, or have you kind of? warmed up to the whole performing in front of a bunch of people? I think there's always a level of discomfort. Um, discomfort's not really the right. Jitters, you know, you go out there and, um, but tonight I was, you know, I was back in my element and I, and I had that mic stand there to hold the mic and I could just kind of, you know, let the emotions come out of my hands as well. And so um, I got more comfortable tonight, but there's still, anytime you step out there, there's always that level of just like jitters that you get. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jake, and you've just been buzzed.